Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today's video is about the G20 Video Transmission Sharing Test. The G20 Remote Control can be installed with most apps on the market, and it uses a new high-power, high-bandwidth 2.45.8G dual-frequency wireless module. It supports automatic frequency adjustment and MCS autonomous dynamic adjustment. The video transmission range can reach up to 30 kilometers. The video is mainly divided into three parts. What products are used in this test? How to wire it? How to present it? What products are used in this test? The products used in this test are Skydroid G20 and Skydroid C12. How to wire it? Power up the G20 receiver and the C12 gimbal. The C12 connector is GH1.257 pin. While the G20 SLAN port connector is GH1.254 pin. Connect the power signal transmission interface of the C12 to the LAN port of the G20. How to present it. Turn on the remote control and the FPV gimbal to view the C12's image. Then go to the G20 remote control settings, click Network and Internet. Then click Hotspot and Tethering and find Wi Fi Hotspot. Click on it and turn it on. You can also rename the hotspot. Turn on the laptop and find the hotspot set up on the remote control. Click to connect. Once connected, open the VLC software, click Media, then open Network Streaming, paste the visible light video output address of the C12 into it, and click Play to see the synchronized image with the G20. Then copy the thermal imaging output address of the C12 into it to view the thermal image.
This effect can also be achieved with QGC. Open the QGC software. Go to the application settings, open RTSP video stream. Paste the visible light video output address of the C12 into it, and then return to the flight interface to see the visible light output of the C12. Then paste the thermal imaging output address of the C12 into it to view the thermal image. The test is complete. Thank you for watching. To learn more, please follow the World Drone Market channel. See you in the next video.